Hello and welcome today to TC Eckstein Soldiers Empowerment Cafe TV. Today we have a very special guest and a very close friend of mine, Omar Ortiz. He is a phenomenal singer and he does sing R&B, but uh, I'm sure he dabbles in other music too. But um, he has a lot to offer. He makes the ladies go crazy. <laughs> he, uh, a year ago when it was my birthday time, he came to my birthday party. I asked him to perform in a showcase party I had, and he kind of did one of those uh, uh, serenades to me, which kind of surprised me. I was caught off guard. I didn't even think I was going to get that, but <laughs> it made the party so much fun, and I just loved it. It was wonderful. He has an amazing voice, and he's so gifted. So I had to get him down here in the studio. So. Thank you for coming today, Omar. It's no been problem. such a while that I haven't seen you. Oh, no, thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. I know you're busy, just like me, <laughs> running around doing our thing. <laughs> so what have you been doing? How is everything? Everything is good. Um, you know, spending more time with family. Mm -hmm. um, working on a project. So that's been something that uh, I haven't been able to quite accomplish before. It's uh, working in the studio, I've had many years of, of recording in the studio, but um, nothing's actually ever been officially released. So um, I, I'm happy to be in the studio with someone who really believes in me. And um, so far, there we're, we're cooking it. up some good stuff. So. Awesome. That's what you need, you know. And sometimes it does take that time, mm -hmm. you know. Like things, it's so weird. It's like in life, I always tell everybody uh, things take off and then there's at the same time you got this balance of bad things can be happening and good things can be happening right. and then they mix together and it can really cause your you to be in a yo-yo frenzy like oh my god my life is going up and down but especially with musician life good things can be happening and then there could be this long wait where you're thinking it's never going to go anywhere but you have to we have to constantly have that feedback and people telling us I mean not like we don't have self-esteem but do need to often hear someone say you still got it you got it going on and, right you know they appreciate what you do so i truly know where you're at i mean i'm 51 this uh next week so not next week 10 nine days and you don't look um, a day over 21. thank you baby <laughs> sis i told you i liked him <laughs> so um yeah um i've been at it all my life and since the choir and bands and all that stuff too so i know but you, I can honestly tell you, you have come further than I ever came at your age. And how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 29 years old. Really? I'm 30. My, my, my son, too, in August. Is, are you, don't tell me August 29. No. August yeah, he's 18. August 29. Is he a That's Leo my too? grandson. Yes, he's a Leo. Okay. My grandson's a Leo. He's okay. August 8th, uh, the same day as you. Oh, cool. Wow, my grandson. Leo's yeah, he's a young Dakota. Baby. You see that? My Dakota's probably going to be a singer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my son is August 29, and that's the same day as Michael Jackson's birthday, so that lets me see how creative he could be, you know. I love it. I'm like, wow, you got the same birthday as somebody that yeah, is creative I like that in town? Very much so, yes. <laughs> so, Omar, tell us what are your other passions and what else would you be engaging in besides working on your music? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, music is my passion. Number that's, one, right? That's, yeah, that's that's been um, something that I've been very passionate about since I was a child. Um, you know, started off singing in church as a young boy. I had my first solo at the age of four in front of, you know, my church at the time. And, wow. Um, I mean, um, you know, nothing nothing fulfills you like your passion does. But, yeah. um, you know, God does bless us with, with different gifts and abilities. And, um, one of the things that I really enjoy doing is working with kids, and um, I, I'm actually preschool certified. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I have experience working with from as little as infants all the way to teenagers. Oh all the wow, way that's great. Yeah. You could do so much too, besides like, uh, what is it? Is it early childhood daycare kind of? Mm -hmm, and you I've, could work with kids yeah, like at I've the I've worked y in daycares. I worked in after, before and after school programs and in a residential program. 
Um, and uh, I, I, I do want to go back to school because I'm only 12 credits away from an associate's degree. Awesome. So it's like, why not? Might as well. Do you have a major um, picked out? I mean, that field that you're in? Not quite yet, but you know, I realized that I'm the type of person who enjoys doing something that involves helping people. Right. Um, you know, I'm not a money driven per I mean money is good, you know, no, it's well, always yeah. good to have it. <laughs> but um if I'm working somewhere where it's just all about the money, I'm not I'm not happy. happy yeah. And yeah, you know, I know that's exactly what you mean. You tend to slack sometimes when you're not happy somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it's important for me to, to, to do something that still brings me some kind of joy and anything mm -hmm. that um involves helping people, you know, such as working with kids, you know, yeah. because you know, there's people that don't realize that, you know, it's more than, you know, babysitting. You're not babysitting. You're actually teaching. You're planting a seed. You have these children that are in your care. And that's a huge yes, it is. responsibility. Yes, it is. And, um, you know, kids are, are very smart. Yeah. And, and, and they're kind of, in a sense, like animals in a way where they can sense things, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if they if they like your vibe, they Do you can, have children? I don't. You don't. One day that's, I will. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a good move right now with your singing career too, let me tell you. But I mean, I'd never regret having my kids, of course. But when I had them, my son and my daughter are nine years apart. But I, God bless me where I was able to sing in between. And everyone kept telling me, you've got a child now, you got to go back to school, and you can't be singing. And, you know, every, I had a chance to be on, um, what was that show? Before American Idol, they had Star Search a mm. long time ago. Mm -hmm. They sent me uh, the information and the, the request for me to come on down and do that. And I wanted to go so bad, but I had nobody to watch my son. So wow. it kind of made me feel like, oh, I'm never going to get anywhere. So I went back to school, and um, like you, I actually I got my uh, associates in nursing at STCC, okay. but then I bought a house after a few years, and uh, well I worked in uh, nursing for over 15 years, and then I bought my home and turned it into a home daycare. Nice. So I did home daycare with Springfield Day Nursery okay. um, and clients, and I had half the clients that paid me out of the pocket. And um, then um, when uh, the 9-11 buildings went down, all the daycare voucher funding was gone. Wow. So everything started crumbling and I had to sell the house and then I got sick and then, you know, I ended up changing my whole life completely around, but I got back to doing what I always wanted to do, you know, so God always makes a way. Amen. You know, I've, I've been sick and I thought everything was over, I'm going to be disabled now. and. Next thing you know, I went back to church and then I started singing with the church and then they started saying, hey, you can do this and this and that. Next thing you know, I'm running my own youth choir and wow. then I started getting gigs and then I joined a band and then, you know, it just all started happening after, you know, so it's like something bad happens. I find out I got heart disease and then I had to change my whole life around to make it functional and be able to do all that I want to do. And then um, next thing you know, God made it so I'm able to do what I wanted to do from yeah. the start. Amen. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing. But that's what I'm, I just want you to know. Don't ever give up on your dream. I know you won't anyway. Oh, but, absolutely. yeah, God will always make a way. And look, and that's what you said with the daycare just made me think. You know, I did the same thing. It's like it takes a compassionate person to be a musician as well as doing other things. You, you can always tell a person's soul by the kind of things they really want to do. Right. And you're a lot like me. I really, and my son too, I like giving back. I like doing things for people. It's wonderful. So um, let me talk, let you talk more about you because I'm just, <laughs> you just got me <laughs> going right. when you brought up the daycare. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's see. The projects you're working on, you did tell us a little bit about that. So a CD is going to be coming out within the year you think? Yes, um, the, the plan is to have um, something released uh, before the summer is over of this year. Okay. Um, we're, we're, we're not quite deep into to the pro uh, project just yet, but I already have my first single picked out and I'm, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait for everybody to hear it. Yeah, um, me, I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool working with my producer because he's so encouraging and um, it's always nice to work with somebody that believes in you. Mm -hmm. One of the can I ask who it is? Because 
Um, well, his his name is Greg, but mm -hmm. he his producer name is Beat Man. Okay. So. Well, that's very like popular. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's but. what he goes by. But um, uh, Gregory Mark, um, and um, you know, it's it's just nice to be in the studio with him and and get that positive feedback. And you know, one of the things that that really excites me um, when he says it is, "Wow, man, I feel like you're." You're bringing real R&B back, and, and and it's nice to hear that because I feel like to an extent we're missing that. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, um, especially yes. with this new generation. Trust, ask me and all the girls <laughs> my age. We want to hear that good, yeah. loving stuff you do, and I we want to be crooned. We don't want to hear no rappers saying Gucci's and this and that. You know, <laughs> I mean, I love my son. Don't get me wrong. My son is, you know, he's a very good rapper, but he can sing, and I prefer, Word. I prefer him singing. But, well, you know, hey, if he they don't do listen both, to mama. They never listen to mama that much. But he does do both. Okay. He's starting to do both. He's been doing both now for a few years. But I can't wait for the day when he just says, you know, I'm just going to. Well, him and I might have to get, get up and collaborate <laughs> or something. Yeah, he's just so good. He's really into the hardcore rapping, too. Okay. More so. And then uh, his fiance, my, well, I call her my daughter-in-law already because they're getting married this year. But um, Jillian Beth, Studio Rebels, she sings on his tracks and they collaborate and they've made albums together and stuff like that but he they know who you are they know omar everybody knows who omar is so if you guys didn't know omar now you know him today he's one of springfield's finest artists and we are going to ask him to perform for us and um unfortunately today it's going to be well it's not unfortunate because you know a singer is truly a singer if he can do a cappella on the spot so i don't want to me to put you on a spot but you know I already know you can sing and you know you can do it so we're gonna get a little acapella taste and I also have a video of him shown in between so we'll be right back after this break you stay tuned
There are moments in life we wish we could freeze in time. We live them. We live for them. They are intimately personal. They are gladly shared. What is life if we cannot experience these moments of joy, wonder, and happiness? We want people to experience more of life's precious moments. To do that, we must be healthy in heart and mind. For the heart is where life's moments are felt most, and the mind is where these moments become memories and are relived again and again. It's why we've made better heart and brain health our mission. And together, we've made an extraordinary impact. Healthier adults, more active children, stronger survivors. But we are just beginning. Until there's a world free of heart disease and stroke, we'll be there making a healthier, longer life possible for everyone. You may ask, why do we do what we do? The answer is simple. Because we are the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association. And life. Life is why. And welcome back to TCX Stein Soldiers Empowerment Cafe with today's guest, special guest, Omar Ortiz. And um, we're going to get to uh, our final question with him, which we usually ask most of our guests. And that is, as a Springfield resident, tell us what you would love to see happen more around here as far as our musical talent goes and things that you would like to see happen in the city of Springfield. Well, one thing that I noticed that's happening is that in the, um, within the younger crowd, um, I love seeing other artists coming up and um, people supporting them. And so I definitely want to see that continuing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have other artists here such as Tasia Noon, T Remedy, uh, Malik Tramble, and, um, you know, uh, uh, Fiona Clark, yeah. and Karen Price, and then Sierra um, Gamble. I've Sierra been Gamble, about her lately. and um, you know, as events are going on here and there, I'm seeing artists coming together um, to support each other, and um, so that's something that I definitely want to see continuing to happen because in Springfield it, it it tends to be a little challenging getting people in general. I noticed that to support, <laughs> yeah, and, and because I don't know. I guess people just feel like, oh, if you're not a, a major artist with a with a yeah, record yeah. deal, then you're not worth yeah, and you know, my time and money. And, and it's like, come on. Yeah, now. like I we mean, have some amazing, amazing talented Give me some. Yes, we artists do. in this city. Yes, and, we do. And we deserve, you know, the people's yeah, support. We really um, do. So definitely more more of that and just more unity. Yeah. You and, know, and that's what together. I really like this venue, this this TV show that I'm doing, aside from my music career, is to network and get people to see you. And of course, we have the online Ustream.tv, which is global. And now I, be, I became partnered with PostProductions.com, which is run by Dougie Fresh. And I'm hosting the Music Awards down there in Chicago, August 18th. So, um, but so we've collaborated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've co you got to sign up on there so I can get you going, too. Okay. We'll talk about that after. All right, cool. But, um, yes, most definitely we are very compassionate. A lot of artists around here are very passionate and compassionate about getting other people and themselves noticed. They need to really have a great, great way to network better. We need more people that really do the networking thing because uh, for some reason it's just not really available 
and people get shut out and it just you don't understand why you know it's like maybe it's like they're getting their people to do it first or you know they're just picky choosy about whatever but you know do you ever I don't ever see people auditioning people or anything like that because there is a lot of talent and then there's a lot of talent that people are afraid to step out and be noticed you know they're afraid to go try but I think if we did set a platform for auditions or something like that and I noticed uh, Jarrell Pitts he did the uh, karaoke thing didn't he start that you you had a show down there didn't you yeah I, I performed for a couple of the karaoke events and I had my own show you had your own show that yeah that's what I'm talking about you had your own kind of concert there I regretted missing that so bad you have no idea <laughs> Sorry. It was a good show. I, I, had, a, I had a good turnout. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's not your average karaoke. What they have going on down there is like a bit, it's a stage set where you actually can karaoke, but it's like you are performing at a really Hollywood looking stage. Yes. It's and, very, you and know, you're backed up um, by a live band as opposed to a yes. karaoke instrumental, which makes yeah. it very fun because. Even if, you know, singing isn't your thing, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's nice to have that live being back. It sure is, always. And, that, and that's a good thing. I, I have to get over there. I just have not had the time. And I finally just got another car back. So, um, and then I got to get it, some work done on it. But in about a month, I'm trading it in for a new car anyway. So, <laughs> but when I had no car over the winter time, I hated asking people you want to go can, you know and then will you take me and then rely on them to bring you home instead of chatting and running around and you're stuck waiting for a ride home <laughs> so I mean you know I just couldn't get over there plus you know a lot of stuff has been going on with me but I will get down there Jerome I will get down there um, I don't know if it's Travis Trent, Trevor. Is, Trevor is he down there too yeah yeah, so I've, I've been seeing I haven't been it, to the new spot yet. Is it, it's still on uh, Gasoline Alley, right? Isn't that where no, they moved No, they, they, they moved Oh, again. where'd they go? Um, I think they moved somewhere around here. I'm not Oh, uh, okay. Sure. We'll find that out, and we will bring that information to the show so everyone will know in Springfield that watches it on Comcast here. And again, we're on channels 12, 15, and 17 on Comcast Friday evenings at 7.30 p.m. Or you can go online at ustream.tv and look for TC Jazz Cafe or TCX Time Cafe. Or anything that starts with TC is usually mine. <laughs> or just Google us. And uh, the final thing I'm gonna um, say to you um, is if you can just give everybody your shout outs and now's the time to let us know how the audience can contact you check out your music check out what you're doing facebook you google you twitter you any of that you can let us know now all right well um the, the, the producer that i'm working with like i said his, his name is gregory mark um and uh um we'll be having something out this year um uh, my facebook page is uh omar ortiz you can up as that. Um, I'm on Instagram, Omar underscore Ortiz 8613. Um, my email is Omar Ortiz 8613 at gmail.com. And um, you can reach me through any of those outlets. Um, I know no one really goes on MySpace anymore, but I do have two original songs. I go on there. <laughs> okay, well, I have two original songs uploaded on there. If you just go on myspace.com slash Amori Songs, which is spelled a M O R E S O N G Z. We will spell that. I was probably zooming by right now, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yep, O A M O R E S O N G Z. Um, and you can go on there and listen to those two tracks. I have a a, a, a slow jam called Quality Time and a up tempo beat called Baby I Love You, which I both oh. wrote. Um, Jerome actually wrote half of the chorus of um, mm -hmm. Baby I Love You and. It was produced by him and Trevor. Wow. Yeah. They are amazing. I, I've, I've been plugging away at them to try to get them to come down here. So if you're watching out there now, Jerome and Trevor, I want you on my show. So you better answer me back or I'm going to come bug you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have those two songs. And um, I have a single that will be um, released um, some point this year called Make Things Right. And it's a cool R&B joint that I'm sure you've heard. Oh, so I'm excited I know. I'm that. sure they will too. Be sure and give it to us oh, and let us sure. know and Absolutely. everything because we will always update your information and have you back. All right, cool. Okay. So now we are going to take a short break and when we come back, Omar 
is going to serenade you guys with a song but it's you know it's, it's gonna be a nice acapella so just sit back and enjoy and but ladies if you have a man I'm telling you like I told you before with Bobby Washington show take it easy take it slow remember lady TC told you so don't be drooling over this man so your man contacts me and is like you know um, TC, what you doing having these guys all up on TV? You got my woman going crazy over this Omar individual. I don't want to hear it. So keep it cool, calm down. And I'm presenting to you next, Omar Ortiz. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> you know how silly I am. <laughs> What's good, y'all? My name is Doug E. Fresh, and I've been in the music industry for a very long time. But you know, success in the music industry involves support from a lot of people working together as one. And Pose Productions is all about connecting the music industry prospects with real opportunity. Now, Pose identifies talented unsigned artists through its online music community and online events and their yearly award ceremony recognizes the biggest winners. And then there's a red carpet event that provides the nominees an opportunity to perform in front of live audience star-studded. Pose Productions is doing things the right way, and that's what music artists really need. All right? It's so good to have you back. All right, so I'm going to sing a, a little bit of... Uh, the single that I'll have coming out this year, which is titled Make Things Right. Uh, and it's written by myself and produced by Beatman, AKA Gregory Mark. Hello there, glad you picked up. Please don't hang up the phone. I really missed you, babe. I'm tired of feeling all alone. I know you don't know me nothing, but I was just hoping you could hear me out. I was thinking we can meet in person and figure this out somehow. Hey, I'm not just anybody that can be replaced. You and me were like family, can't nobody take my place. Everybody makes mistakes, but I know that I took it too far. But I ain't too proud to beg for your forgiveness Oh, I, I was wondering if I could see you tonight Yay Cause I just want another chance to make things right Oh, really don't wanna lose you from my life No, no So baby, please give me another chance to make things It's killing me that we've gone all this time without talking And there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about you how are the kids? I feel like I'm missing out by not being around But I know it's my fault Cause I kept messing up and letting you down So I decided to give you space I know you needed the distance I just been doing me Living my life one day at a time But enough is enough I can't take the separation no more Whatever I gotta do, long as I'm able to win back your friendship, I wanna get a chance to see you tonight, baby, baby, baby. Hey, cause I just want another chance to make things right. Yeah, really don't wanna lose you from my life. No, no, baby, give me another chance. I just want another chance to make things right. Oh, baby. Hey. Omar. Oh, one of these days me and him are going to do 
do a duet. Yeah, that'd I, be you nice. You know what I was thinking? One of these days I would love to do Fire and Desire with you. Because I've been trying to find somebody that can do that. Mm. And I know you could smoke it. All right. You know, I'll Rick have to James, practice it. He ain't got nothing on your voice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're going to say goodbye now. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you. Omar Ortiz. Keep an eye on him. And we'll see you back in the cafe soon. Stay tuned. Bye-bye now.